Hey everyone, Shaybear1000 here and Monkey. Today we're going to review this thing. It's a it's a bacon cooker for I'm trying to get the glare off of it. There we go. For your microwave. We're going to check it out. See if it works like it's intended. Be back with you in just a second. Okay guys, you may have seen this before, um, but we, we just saw it once, somebody did it on a YouTube video we saw the other night, so, and she happened to see it at Walmart, just 20 bucks, so we thought we'd give it a shot, bulbhead.com. Mm -hmm. So, as seen on TV, includes one yummy canned bacon, one yummy canned bacon, one instruction manual. Okay, so that's the yummy can bacon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's got a crisper valve, easy hang rack, built-in grease trap. Now, from what we've seen, it did pretty good. So, I don't even know why we're really reviewing it, but just in case you haven't seen it. Frying pan flavor, which should be healthier too, because it's got the grease trap that will hold the grease in. Perfect bacon every time. Uh, let me see. No splatter. Fits eight slices. Built-in grease trap. Dishwasher safe on top rack. So if you're going to use this in your dishwasher, it's safe on the top rack. I'm going to put it down below. And let's go ahead and open this up. What the? It's taped. Oh no. <laughs> well, I, uh, you know, I just, <laughs> it just went like this. I was like, okay, it's not taped. I don't need a knife, but use my Corvette knife here. For those of you that has not seen it. A lot of glare from that light up there. Anyway, Chevy symbol. Corvette symbol there. Alright. I like this one. It was their dad's. Yeah. Now it's mine. Here's our bacon thing here. One of the books everybody throws and then they go and have to try to find it. Surprise free gift. Scan now or go to bobheadgift.com. Okay, so it's got a cooking time chart here for like the wattages of your microwave 800 watts, 900 watts, I think we've got a, a 900 watt 1000 watts and 1200 watts so um, you, you can cook one piece uh, 800 watt microwave, one piece of bacon, two minutes and that's it, max cook time be five minutes who's gonna put one one piece of bacon in a microwave for five minutes? Boy, that'd be super duper crispy, that's for sure. Uh, I think, I, I do believe ours is a 900 watt microwave, isn't it? I'll have to check. I think so. Wait a minute. Okay, 800 watt microwave, one piece, two minutes. Max time, five minutes. 900 watt microwave, one piece, two minutes. Five minutes max time. It's the same. Yeah. Huh. Okay. A thousand watt microwave, one piece, two minutes. Uh. Four minutes max time. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess there's not much difference there. Here's the thing here. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to read up on this because I'm sure Monkey will want to wash this before we use it. He said it had a weird smell. This guy's an idiot. But anyway, I'm sure he knows. He watches my videos, I know he does. But, and there it is. Um, let's see here. Plastic off of here. It does have a weird smell, but. Plastic smell? It smells like brand new plastic. Hmm. Oh. 
is a weird smell. Yeah, but if you don't smell it, you can't smell it. No, you he can't pulled it out of the box them. and was going uh, 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 like that. No, like it, you can't smell. Oh my god! You have to put your nose right in. I there. mean, you really gotta. Yeah. Most people don't. They just uh, open it up, take it out, and wash it. So, okay. So, let me see. These just flip out. Don't flip out on me now. All right. Yeah, they just mm -hmm. flip up. Take this off. Remove and discard all paper inserts before use. We're not going to discard it because if it's junk, we are taking it back. It's pretty solid. Okay. And we'll set this in there. Just in case, you know, if it melts or something. I'd like to do that on purpose, just for fun. Melt something like this, like I take my torch and melt it down and take it in and take it back and when they ask well what's wrong with it open the box I'll say it melted <laughs> okay so how's this crisper thing work I'll have to check that out this is the crisper the crisper valve or whatever they called it but yeah I'll be no wait a minute that's just a vent that's all it is it's not a button it's just a vent but anyway, like I said, while she washes that, I'll, I'll read up on it. Where's my sticker? You guys remember buying this stuff? You, they used to give you a sticker. Oh, uh, no sticker? No sticker. Oh, I got ripped. I got ripped. <laughs> you know, in fact, the last bald head thing I bought didn't have a sticker. Yeah. Well, you, they used to give us stickers. Yeah. And I, I, you will not find that sticker on anything. I don't know why I want the sticker so bad, because I didn't use the other ones. No. But... It's the thought. Uh, limitation of liability. Yeah, it's just normal tree. Yeah, so all you do, I'll read this to you though. Unsnap, <coughs> excuse me, unsnap the left and right locks on the safety lock handles. <coughs> and shut up, Monk. She's making fun of me again, guys. Figure A, that's this. Using the safety lock handles, remove the anti-splatter lid, which would mean you go and set aside. It doesn't tell you that, it just says remove it. So I'm not just gonna sit here and hold it while I'm doing other things. So I, I suppose they mean set it aside. Evenly place up to eight slices of bacon on the easy hang rack. Do not place more than one slice per rack. These racks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Replace the anti splatter lid. And snap both the left and right safety lock handles firmly in place. scared the hell out of monkey and that's it oh then then place in microwave for desired cook time refer to the cooking time chart which is on the back I don't know why I'm doing that stupid thing this is once I start I can't stop <laughs> like a diesel engine I start something I could keep going for a long time Okay, let cool for two minutes before removing yummy canned bacon from microwave. So, after you do your your chart and your bacon's cooked, leave it set in the microwave for two minutes. Using oven mitts, what if I want to use a towel or pot holders? Why does it have to be just oven mitts? So, I should I should use my oven glove that you got me. Yep. Which I think it's uh, there's only one in it. Yeah. Oh well, <laughs> I guess I won't be using that. Huh. Okay. Uh, lift and carry by the safety lock handles, like that. Place on surface that will not be damaged by heat or steam, like that. <laughs> Carefully unsnap the left and right safety lock handles and remove the anti-splatter lid. 
Yeah, see, oh. you could get burnt doing this. You ain't careful, that thing flies off and you spill out everything on top of you. Yeah, that would be bad. And remove the anti-splatter lid. Lift the anti-splatter lid off by holding the safety lock handles. <laughs> While wearing oven mitts. I forgot to add that part in there. Ah. <laughs> okay. Enjoy yummy bacon. Alright, so I'm going to let her I'll wash her, it. Wash it off real quick. Uh, I'll see what the microwave is. I think it's 900 watts. I believe but it But there's is. not a whole lot of difference here. No. But um, let's see, eight pieces is going to be about seven minutes and 30 seconds. The max cook, because we're doing eight pieces, the max cook time will be 10, oh, excuse me, 10 minutes. So let me check that out. And uh, we'll come back with you and we'll put the uh, bacon on and we'll show you how to do that, I guess. Because if not, somebody will go, well, you didn't show us putting the bacon on. Well, I mean, really, you just, we'll get into that. And just like that, we're back. So we're going to got our plate of bacon here, eight slices. This is Smithfield bacon. We like it a lot. It, now this is thick. So what the instructions don't tell you is to uh, compensate for that. Remember, the thicker your bacon, the longer it may take to cook. So, but this is very thick. It's very good bacon though. Mm -hmm. um, but we bought, well we didn't, she did. She bought some ribs the other day and I was going to cook them on the grill. So she bought them said, we can have these tomorrow. I'm like, cool, I'll, I'll make them on the grill. She's like, ooh, yummy. So the next day, you know, kind of geared up to, because I start early because I like to, um, I guess it don't matter if that touches when that guy did it they touched it I, I I don't know if that really matters but it's long you can cut them if you want cut them in half and drape them but so I like to you know get all the uh, the fat off of it I don't take all the fat off of the uh, the ribs just some of it and the membrane on the back and then I marinate them I make a sauce and and I mar marinate them for a few hours I cut that open and I was like, what the hell? I had a funny smell. Monkey was clear of air in there in the southern room said, did somebody fart? <laughs> and I said, no. She said, no, I'm serious. I smell it. And I said, it's this meat. She said, no, I'm being serious. I said, me too. It's this meat. She come over and smelled it. I said, oh my God. We took it back and I guess the young girl, this is how, you know, this is the future looks bleak, guys. Because this young girl that works there, monkey said it, it's it's spoiling. It's and the date was for 14th of this month. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and I guess she said, well, they're ribs. They don't spoil. Come on, it's meat. She said, well, you know what? Do you want to smell it? She was like, oh no, no, I don't want to smell it. She said, well, then I want my money back. And that kind of. She said, well, we've been having, somebody else told her that they've been having trouble with trucks coming in late. So I don't know if they was like stuck somewhere and they ran their reefer tanks out of fuel. You know, it's just like unplugging your refrigerator for a couple days. But anyway, she was like, no, I'm not getting ribs. I'm, we're just going to have steaks. And they were $31. Yeah. It looked like a good cut of ribs too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, so that's what you do. Like I said, his kind of touched and hung over. It didn't make a difference. Um, and, and yes, this is just a vent here. It has, you know, nothing to do with anything. It just, um, you can pull that out if you want, mm -hmm. but then you'll lose it. But I'm gonna go ahead, I know Monkey likes hers crispy. I have determined, actually I haven't determined, I'm pretty sure that's a 900 watt microwave. So we're just going to put this in the microwave for 
seven and a half minutes and I'll bring it out and we'll check it a little bit of water from where she washed it and then we'll check it and see what it looks like together I'm not going to show you guys putting it in the microwave I feel like you know I'm cheating my viewers out of watch time minutes when I do that it's kind of a waste okay we get it Shea Bear you gotta cook it <laughs> <laughs> and then sit there and then speed it up. I used to do that and I was like, you know, it's just, you know, people don't want to see that. They want to, you know, it's not about, and of course we'll taste test it because, I mean, I guess that's something we have to do or haters get mad and go, well, you didn't taste it. To see if it it's bacon. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, it, you can cook anything with heat. If you have a source of heat, you can cook on it. Something like this is not going to make a difference. Now, in order, if I was really going to do something where it needed a taste test, was like if I was doing two different kinds of charcoals. Mm -hmm. Which one makes your food taste better or something like that. This is just going in the microwave. But we will taste test it for you. Stick around and let's get this in over there in the microwave. Bleep, bloop, bloop, bloop the buttons and then we'll come back with you. Okay, we have come back now. It did spill some out in the microwave there again depending on your bacon if it's very greasy that's going to happen so you might want to put something down i probably should have did that but okay so now let's flip these out like that then it says to pick it up here that's not hot so that's good mm. let's see what no you want more you want to go longer for me, yeah. All right. See, that's perfect for me. But she wants it a little longer. And max time, see, that's just a starting point. Max time is 10 minutes. So I'm going to put it in for three more minutes. No, two and a half more minutes. Yeah, because it was seven and a half minutes. I'm going to put it in for two and a half more minutes. Oh, I did let it set, too. Yeah for two minutes. So I'm gonna put it in for two and a half more minutes and that'll give us our 10 minute uh, max time. But again, it's, you know, this is thick bacon. So if it was thin bacon, I think it would have been about right. Yeah. So I'm gonna put it back in and we'll be back with you. Okay, we're back. I put it in, I just went ahead and hit three minutes because like I said, this is very thick bacon. Uh, Okay, now let's lift, lift this off. Let's see what we got here. What do you think? Yeah. And as you can see, all the grease in the bottom of that. Let me get another, uh, I'm gonna get another plate to set the bacon on. Okay. And so we can see how much grease it collected, which you can use for other things, by the way. Right. Like. Green beans. Mm, I love green beans with bacon in it. Well, you use the bacon grease. Yeah, you put bacon in, but you also use the bacon grease. So. Yeah. Set that there for now. Well, I think it's got that. Well, I'll just go ahead and pull this out anyway. Woo! Hot dog. No, it's bacon. Let me help you do it. It's not going to stand up, but we'll set it like that. Now, as you can see, that is a lot of grease. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to let that set for a minute. I'm going to take this over, dispose of it, so we don't clog the drain up. And uh, I want to get a glass thing with a lid so I can start saving this grease. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause well we we got a place we we put it in, then she just dumps it out outside or in the trash can. But oh, you dump the trash can, don't you? Uh -huh. I would dump it outside for the animals, but that's okay. Um, but so that way I can strain this grease uh -huh. and save our bacon grease for uh -huh. like Thanksgiving and stuff, cooking eggs. And, all right, back with you. Okay, so after this, I'll have the fun task of frying her up some eggs. Here it is going on 6.30. Um, 
So instead of dumping that in the trash, I'm going to use the bacon grease to make our eggs in. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's got a little thing. It's not perfectly flat, but that's okay. It's bacon. I remember my mom making bacon and just curl up into little balls almost, you know. I remember your mom was asking me, how do you get the bacon to stay straight? <laughs> I lay it flat. <laughs> Cook one piece at a time because most people just throw it in there and just start stirring it up. And, yeah. Which is fine if you're going to crunch it up for something. But <clears throat> And like I said, so this could be crispier if you wanted it to be, but very minimal. <laughs> I'm going to regret this. Very minimal, minimal shrinkage. It's a guy thing. She's looking at me like so. <laughs> Think about it for a minute, Monk. I already got it. There's a piece. All I had to do was look up there. There's one up there. All right, yeah. So, now, let me take this over here. It does. It does save on the grease, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Monk? Yeah, lots. Well, save you from heating it. Yeah. All right. There's a piece, I'll eat that piece. I'll get you a crunchy piece here. Also, you know, it depends on, here's yours. <laughs> it depends on, the, you know, your bacon and, uh, you know, if you buy cheap bacon, it's not gonna be as good as regular bacon. I forget to put my hat on. Oh well. <laughs> All right, Dink. Dinky dog, that's a little piece. Dink. <laughs> Ready? That's better. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Bacon. <laughs> yeah, like I said, no, I was telling her, I mean, yeah. maybe I was telling you guys too, no, it's bacon. It's bacon. Tastes good. But. It's not as greasy, and it cooked it fine. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Yep. The uh, yummy canned bacon is the name of it. A monkey looked that up for a free gift. Uh, it's a gift card. <laughs> you have to do a windmill thing, and yeah, you got to spin a wheel, and you can <laughs> win up to a thousand dollars. But come on. Yeah. But there it is. So, what do you think, Monk? It's good. I think it, if, if you were in a hurry, do you think it saves more time than it would like on the skillet or anything, you think? Well, I think it cooks, well, I think it's faster than cooking it on a skillet. But as far as preparation, it's not faster because you still, the way I make it, I peel each piece off and let it flatten the pan. Mm -hmm. So it's no different really from peeling each piece off and draping it over a thing. Right. But as far as how well it cooks it, cooks it fine. Cooks it fine, takes a lot of grease off, so if you're really wanting to get rid of that grease, that works. The only thing I think you might, it's a little dangerous. You have to be careful because, you know, you're trying to get it out of the microwave, remove it, and if you have no good grip on But there, to be fair, how dangerous is it in the frying pan. Well, it is. It sparks you. <laughs> You're so, standing there and it's splattering on you. So and a lot of times I cook bacon naked and, and it's, it can get. <laughs> you don't have to tell everyone. No, that. because I'm not lying. But, I mean, you know, you're splattering and so, I mean, you're working around a hot skillet and sometimes if you, if you're cooking on gas, it's an open flame with that grease popping around. So, right? Yeah, yeah. And so technically, I think it's safer, really. Dude. Well, you can get burnt, yeah, but you can get burnt on that pan. Yeah, 
I was just thinking for somebody that is older trying to use this for safety reasons. So, yeah, well, at least you don't have to use the oven. Again, well, the stove. I mean, the stove. But yeah. again, you know, an older person might not be able to pick up a pan anymore. No. Because no. a pan is heavier than this bacon inside this plastic. Thing. Right, right. I would put and, it on a plate. Yeah, I mean, anything that gets hot like a pan, you can still burn yourself on. Well, true. And if you're, you know, doing other things and you knock that off, you can burn, you know, the whole front of you with bacon grease. All right. That's not going to happen with this right. unless you drop it, taking it out. So as far as safety, I think it's actually a little safer okay. in my book because, like I said, mm -hmm. we have an electric range, but if you have... A gas range and you're cooking bacon and it's splattering everywhere mm -hmm. there's been bacon fires even in restaurants oh, yeah. bacon grease yeah this is not going to happen and you can also let it set longer than two minutes they just say that but you can let it set longer than two minutes in and i think you'd be you know fine yeah because anytime you cook some guys it's going to be hot that goes without saying whether it's a pan or in a microwave it's going to be hot so but like i said it's not splattering around it seems a little messy on your hands, but you wipe your hands off. It's actually cleaner because it's not splattering all over your stove top. True, true. And your mm -hmm. fridge or whatever else you got. I would use a plate underneath it and mitts. So. And if you have electric mm -hmm. range like us, it's actually cheaper to run that microwave for 10 minutes than it is to run that stove for 15. Yeah, especially if you only want a couple pieces. Yeah, and you're firing up that big old burner. Right. Yeah, I mean... You know, it's a 900 watt microwave. It's 900 watts, but it's 900 watts for two or three minutes. <laughs> you know, not you know a thousand or whatever the stove is. I don't know what it is, but for 15 minutes. So, I mean, everything has its ups and downs. But I think all in all, it gets a two thumbs up for me. Yeah, I give it two thumbs up. Durability <laughs> and the fact that you, I don't, you know, how long will it last? I don't know. Can the handle break off? Course. tomorrow it could anything can. but it's plastic <clears throat> right. uh, it's 20 bucks so the price is right you know buy a good if, got buy a good frying pan that'll hold eight wash, so. yeah I'm gonna get that um, buy a frying pan you know that holds eight pieces of bacon no you have to have a big big one you have a big frying pan hold hold eight of these well what there it is after it's cooked taking up a whole plate mm -hmm. so before it's cooked you know, be hanging over the frying pan. I can only cook probably six of these in there. I can put eight if I put them around the sides. Right. But you can fit all eight in there. I'm giving them a five out of five story right now. Hmm. And, okay, so like she said, and it is dishwasher safe on the top rack, so. Yeah, what do yeah. You, what's and your, it was easy to wash if you just wash what's it. Your, what's your numbers? I give it a four and a half. Um, respectable yeah. and two thumbs up and two thumbs four up. and a half two thumbs up I give it five and two thumbs up so yeah I think it's worth 20 bucks I think it is I really I yeah I think this is one of the few times I'll say it's worth the money I wouldn't give more than 24 no no I'd gladly give 15 but $20 I have no problem giving 20 bucks for that yeah um I mean, really, what can go wrong with it? It can crack over time, or you drop it and it'll crack. Well, it depends on money, how, how but, much you use it. you know, you drop that cast iron skillet. It <clears throat> could crack, or it could crack. We have ceramic tile in here. It could break a tile. Mm -hmm. This ain't going to break a tile. No. I'd rather break a $20 item than, you know, and if you don't know how to do it like I do, it could cost you a couple hundred dollars to have one mm -hmm. tile replaced. Yes, definitely. So, I mean, so it's safe in that aspect. You, you, you drop this on your toe, you're not probably not going to break your toe. Drop that cast iron thing on your toe. Right. You're going to break your toe. <laughs> yeah, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Again, here's the bacon. Bacon. I have to. Uh, it smells so good in here now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I got to make us some eggs now, so. 6.30, egg time. Yep. And then we're going to do a little night fishing tonight, so. Yep. If she feels like it, because usually once her tummy's full, it's nap time.
We'll see. I might be tomorrow. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Monkey. Like I said, she's out for now, y'all. Don't forget to check her channel Bye. out. She's going to be doing a review on a thermocell. Yep. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's a mosquito repellent thing. So. Right. Uh, we picked one up. 20 bucks. Yep. At Walmart. Um, so we're going to see how that... I have not seen a review yet because there's thousands out there of them things, reviews, and I haven't seen one yet where they're dissatisfied with it. Right. You know, and a lot of YouTubers, even big YouTubers, you'll see pretty much in every one of their videos, they, they like their thermocell. They swear by it. Yeah. And they don't use the spray anymore, so I'm not, you know, I don't have any problem putting spray on, but if that helps, that'd be great. Oh, yeah, especially when we fish down um, there at the river. Yeah, but it's, we'll get into that on yeah. her video, and, and I'll mention it in mine, too. But I'm, I figure I'd let her do that review, so. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah. All right, Shea Bear, the Mental Man of Legend, gone for now. Remember, guys, it's Halloween time again. Let's get spooky. <laughs> that was spooky. <laughs> Bye, guys.